apartment. Avoiding once more all these lovely ladies. The combat in this game is a little clunky. It's easier with a firearm, but bullets, depending on your difficulty, are going to be kind of scarce. So it's really best to avoid it. Some people have complained that the combat's really bad, or that if it was going to be... Oh, so many cockroach women. No thanks. No thank you. Oh, what's this? Hey, dude. There's a memo pad on the ground. I'm going to write everything that I've learned so far. Maybe that will help you out somehow. Oh, that's really indicative of Harry. Thankfully, this body is not Harry, but it's kind of creepy. If you're reading this, it probably means I'm already dead. Okay. Looks like there's pages scattered about, so let's check those out. A torn memo page is on the ground. I saw those demons. They were there, I'm certain. But my friend says he didn't see anything. If that's true, does that mean that what I saw was an illusion? But whether that demon that ate human beings was real, or whether it was just some kind of hallucination that my mind dreamed up, one thing I know for sure is that I'm beyond all hope. Oh, so depressing, man. Don't give up. It seems that they're attracted to light. No. You stay right over there, honey. They're attracted to light. That's why people who need light to see are their natural prey. They also react strongly to sound. If you want to go on living, you'd, you'd be better off just sitting in the dark and staying quiet. But even that probably won't save you. Ew. If you're going to try and fight them, the most important thing is to relax. It's dangerous to fire a gun while you're all crazy with fear. Take good aim and then squeeze the trigger. And don't forget to finish them off. I think most of those creatures can be killed even if they're tougher than people. Run away. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. No, I don't want to play with you, honey. But yeah. That actually ties in nicely to what I was talking about a second ago with the combat. The combat in this game, as I said, is a little bit... Mm, it's a little hard to do sometimes. It's, it's... Wow, you just shot out of nowhere, thanks. Ah! I want to talk, get away from them. But... They do that to encourage you actually not to fight them. They give you more of a sense of horror, of being just a normal guy who's stuck here. A normal guy who has no idea what's going on. And I have to check real quick to find out where we are. Where are we? Oh, I turned myself around. I want to go... this way. Right? Is this the right way? Checking the map. Yes, this is the right way now. I do check it a lot, but if you play this game, you'll find you check it a lot, too. But yeah. The combat is set up to encourage you to run away, and while some people have said, if it's set up to make you run away, no, then why have combat at all? Why not just have you run constantly from them? Sweet. I think, at least personally, I think that that's in case you get stuck. No. If you were just running away constantly, but then you got trapped in a hallway, you'd have no way to defend yourself. So, much like in real life, heaven forbid, you were trapped in that kind of situation, you'd probably try to avoid combat as much as possible. You'd try to avoid all of the creatures coming to eat you. But if you had no choice, you'd pick up whatever object you can find. No. No! Go away. Bugs. There's a lot. Do not like the bugs. But yeah. In real life, you'd probably try to avoid them as much as possible, and then if you had no other choice, you'd pick up the nearest object and defend yourself, but you probably wouldn't get out of it unscathed, much like James here. So let's have a little look. I know the entrance is over there, but let's just have a look down here. See if there's anything. There's a door here. Which we cannot open. So that's not the way in. And if we go over here, should take note that there's a little alleyway. And if we have a look down it, make note that this is here. We will need it later, but right now we don't because it's garbage. There is no use for that. 
I don't know, James, you're gonna pick up some pretty questionable stuff throughout this game. Let's have a quick look, see if there's anything over here. No, it's been blocked off. Thankfully, we don't have to check. So let's go into the apartment. Aha, uh -huh. health drink, dead ahead. Let's pick that up. We need these. They're healthy and delicious, and they probably taste like chocolate. And now if the camera will let me, flip it around. Easy to miss, but the map is right here. What's that apartment? I got a map of the apartment building. Yay! I know the first time I played this, I walked right by that map. I did most of this building without it, and that is very difficult. It's not impossible, but it's not easy. I don't think we can get anything out of these. Yes? No? No. So let's save at our point. Or maybe we won't. There we go. Okay, that was weird. You guys didn't hear it, but it it made a weird music cue when it was coming back. I think that means it's okay. I hope it's okay. It better not be screwed up. I'll be sad. All right. Anyway, we have our map and we have saved. So let's proceed forward. Uh, we could, in theory, go here, but as we'll see in a second, this door is actually closed. Yep. And James will have marked it on his map, which is just a reminder to go back there later. Because if a door is locked, that usually means it can be opened. You just need to find a key or complete a puzzle that allows you to open the door. Doors that are broken, you can't ever open. So there is a second floor, but first we're going to go on the first floor. Or maybe we won't. Come on, James. James doesn't like doors. I hear things. All right, let's have a quick look. Oh, it's too dark to read the map. Okay, so as you can see, we can't actually look at the map because there's no light here. We don't need this yet, but I'm going to make a note of it. Is that right here, there's a garbage chute. There's a trash chute. There's some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. We will make note of that for later. We don't need it yet. And we will hopefully... That's the way we came in. We want to be over here. Hello? Someone's a-coming. The lock is broken. I cannot open it. We're not going to play with them, though. We're going to keep going and see if we can't find somewhere with light to read this map. Can we go in here? Yes, we can. Oh, how fortunate. We've instantly gone the right way. Perfect. Come on, camera. Would you be kind? No, camera will not be kind. Oh, there we go. All right. Before we pick this up, because something's going to happen the second that we do, I'm going to point out a couple of things. Is that first, this outfit here, if you remember the photo, is the dress that Mary was wearing. Which is kind of strange. And it has a flashlight stuck in its cleavage. We're going to take a moment and it will become our flashlight, but right behind it, if you see on the right over here, we're not going to get any closer because it'll wake up anyway, is our next monster, the mannequin. And you can kind of see it here, but it's basically two female posteriors stuck together. They bear a striking resemblance to the artwork of Hans Belmer, and I totally recommend Googling him. You'll see exactly what I mean. He makes some cool stuff. But turns out that's actually just a coincidence. Apparently they are based on folklore rather than that. But it is still kind of cool to note that they're similar. Anyway, they respond to light. They also respond if you get really close to them, so you can't sneak right by them. But the second that we pick this up, it's going to come to life. I got a flashlight. Aha! Now I have to whack it. Eh. Stomp it, James. There you go. Can't stop it again? Alright. That was a bad angle for that, but I'm convinced that James has weak ankles because his kicks are kinda sad. That's a lovely shot of that right there. What a mess. Anyway, let's have a look. We've gotten our flashlight. Can we go in here? No, we can't. Is there anything exciting? Nope. Looks like someone was having some fun in here, though. 
Is there anything in the kitchen? There might be a health drink. I don't think there is, though. No. There's a can of beans. Also, we're tracking blood again. I still think that's awesome, that if you kill a monster and you walk over it, you will leave a trail of footprints for a little while. I don't think there's anything in here. No, there's nothing in here. But now that we have that flashlight, we can read our map. If you didn't find the flashlight right away... If you didn't... Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if you did not find the flashlight right away, sorry, I was distracted, you will have discovered that there are actually some parts in the hallway that have lights on, and there you can read your map, which is a good way to keep track of what's going on if you can't find this room right away. It is straight down the hall. So, anyway, let's get out of here. We're going to continue on out and see what other rooms we can get into on this floor. Let's continue up this way. I don't really feel like playing with you, so we're going to turn. Aha! How fortunate. There is something in here, though. Camera? No? Not going to let me? Let me look. I want to see it. Oh! There it is. Whoa! Oh, it puked on me. Darn it. Stop it. It's rude. Don't do that. It's gross to throw up on people. Kick her, James. No. Alright. Ah, we've seen something. Handgun bullets. But yes, James's kicks are kind of meh, at least compared to... Hello? What you looking at, James? Can I see? No? <laughs> You're not gonna let me look? Oh, here we go. Pete's sake. Compared to Harry Mason's and Heather Mason's kicks, James's are kind of sad. And here's a bathroom with nothing in it. Okay. Like, Harry will pick his leg up and stomp on the monster, if I'm remembering correctly. And Heather will kick it as hard as she can. But James just kind of goes, eh, and kicks it slightly. But that does seem to be enough to kill them. I mean, the mannequins themselves. Ah! Oh! Hi! You're, uh, you're in the wall. Well, that's interesting. I'm just gonna leave you there. All right. What you looking at, James? Anything else in here? I need to, uh, I need to be not next to you. What are you looking at? Ah! Can I hit you now? Yes. All right, here we go. Okay, okay. Nope. This is so funny. I've actually never seen it glitch into a wall like that before. There we go. He, like, kicks and hobbles. Let's see, anything in here? No. This room was pointless, aside from this mannequin. It's hiding in the closet. Alright. Let's get out of here, then. This was a room for handgun bullets, which means, hopefully, that there is a handgun nearby. Is there anything in the kitchen? Health drinks? Nothing? Okay. I'm gonna check James's health real quick. So we did get puked on and then whapped in the head. We're probably fine. We have a plenty of health drinks. I'm gonna give him one anyway. There we go. See, he did need a couple. We're gonna make sure that you're nice and healthy, James. Because you must care about yourself, James. Oh, there's a mannequin. I'm gonna try and uh, scoot by her, hopefully. Excuse me. Nope. Eh. Me. No. I don't want to play with you. James, go in. No. Alright. Does this door work? No. We've cleared out this hallway. There we go. I'm gonna have to kill her. Die. Eh. Kick her. No. Don't let her get back up. Don't let her skitter on the floor either. There we go. It's kind of like, eh. Stomps on her like he's putting out a cigarette. But yeah, actually if I back up a little bit, you can see there's the light on the ceiling I was talking about. If you didn't have your flashlight and you didn't have it on, then you could look at your map underneath this light. And I'm actually gonna look at it real quick. All right, we have cleared out. I do like that, that James designs rooms when you go inside. He makes little notes of where things are, all right. We couldn't go into a four because there's literally no door there. 
could go and look back there, and then there's up this hallway. So we're going to have a look up that hallway, and then we're going to go to the end. Let's get out of here. Onward to victory! Whoa, ran into the wall there for a moment. But yes, the mannequins, their metaphor is pretty straightforward. They're a metaphor for sex. Here's where the door for 204 should be. It is gone now. Don't want to play with you. But like all the other monsters in here, they have kind of a, a glossy exterior. A very shiny, very wet looking. Which looks kind of sickly. That one's locked too. But they are yet another taunt from James's psyche. Concerning his desire for other women. Such an assuring noise. Ah, uh, I remember this room. Let's see if I can... A television. There's nothing unusual about it. Yet. That's locked. Rotate, rotate. Aha, let's go in here. Anything in here? Ah, the clock. Let's have a look at this. There is writing on the clock. The scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. Will you push the clock? Sure, let's try and push the clock. We cannot push the clock. No matter how hard I push, it doesn't move. It's like it's stuck to the ground. And if we look at the front of the clock... The clock is stopped at 2.16 and 15 seconds. The faceplate is closed. It is locked. I can't touch the needles of the clock like this. You must have, you must have future sight there, James, because you figured out what we're going to need to do to solve this puzzle. And look at this. What's this? Henry Mildred Scott. And as those little lines to the side may indicate, it's pretty straightforward. Those are the hands of the clock, and Henry Mildred Scott are hour, minute, and second. I'm actually going to grab my handy-dandy little notebook here. And real quick, I'm going to put down roughly where these lines are. And that's the second hand. All right, just going to write that down so I don't have to keep looking back and forth at it later. Thank you. If I remember correctly, the second hand doesn't move, so we don't need to worry about that. And I think in easy mode, you might only need to move the minute hand or the hour hand. Something like that. Or you have to be less precise, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can't trigger this. Come on. I know you want to do it. I know you want to do something fancy. I think it happens right as we try to leave. No. No. Hey now. You're supposed to do a thing. Why aren't you doing it? You concern me. Greatly concern me. Maybe it's when we have to come back in here. I thought for sure it was going to do it. Ah oh, well, just goes to show that I don't remember everything. Let's have a look. As you can see, we can't go any further. And I don't think James has anything to say about that, probably because it's pretty straightforward. Alright, let's go. Oh, there's fun people around the corner for us. But we don't have time to play. I don't want to play. I want to go and check out the rest of the hall as I kind of meander James into the side. Let's see. This door over here is locked, and I think this door is too. This door is also missing, and this door is locked. Alright, so I believe that that takes care of the first floor, at least for right now. Okay, then we can head on to the second floor and see what we can see.
what we can find, what we can gather that will help us on our mission to open this clock. For reasons that James does not understand, but instinctively knows, he must do. Hey everyone, it's Chaos Child. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why not leave a like or a comment? Or subscribe to me for even more videos. Thanks again!